Oh, hello. In this module, we'd like to introduce the concept of chemical kinetics, or reaction rates. I'd like to introduce this topic by blowing up a couple of balloons. I've had to uh, spend a little time this morning on filling up a hydrogen balloon, this yellow one, and a red balloon, which contains a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gas. So I've made a couple of pictures up on the board of these balloons. The yellow balloon on your left contains hydrogen gas. Outside of the balloon, regular environment here, we have lots of oxygen and nitrogen. 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen. The reaction that's going to take place here in a moment is I'm going to bring a candle underneath the balloon, pop the balloon, give everything here a little bit of energy. The hydrogen is going to seek out oxygen in the atmosphere. It's going to have to manipulate its way through the nitrogen, which is acting like a buffer, keeping everything apart. The reaction? I'll balance a couple of moles of hydrogen, one mole of oxygen, give two moles of water in the gas phase. The balloon on the right side, the red one, has actually less hydrogen inside of it than the yellow balloon because it's about a 50-50 mix. I just opened up the valves and filled it about 50-50 with hydrogen and oxygen. Now the oxygen here is available inside the balloon. So I'll pop, give everything a little bit of energy. This reaction is expected to happen a little bit faster because Hydrogen and oxygen are in the same vicinity. Um, we'll turn off the lights. We'll light a candle. Go ahead and hold it underneath and blow up the two balloons. Let me bring the candle up underneath the yellow balloon, which has hydrogen gas only, and the hydrogen's going to seek out the oxygen in the environment. So I'll bring this up slowly. This has the mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gases inside. This will happen a little bit faster. Let's see what the effect of that is. Wow. Well, those balloons went off and uh, that, that was fast. The reaction happened fast. Some reactions you can see in real time, nice and slow. This is a series of reactions that will uh, occur inside the beaker here, and it will result in some color changes. I won't uh, describe the color changes. Let me have you observe. Solution is spinning. I like when that blue creeps in. That looks really nice. There's a series of reactions competing. One of the products is that orange. One of the products is the blue. And another couple of reactions are competing and using those reagents up. And solution goes clear and starts going again. This deteriorates after maybe about, oh, eight iterations or so. So we'll let it go. And uh, off to the side, I'll do another one that does not oscillate. This oscillates, goes through a series of reactions. The other one is known as the beaver clock reaction. This one here doesn't oscillate, but it gives two of the greatest colors in the world. It's kind of nice. Orange and black. Orange and black. Oh, in an upcoming module, we'll take a look on the board at what's a, uh, what a catalyst is. And a catalyst is a material which is not consumed during the reaction. For example, here I have a piece of platinum wire which will not be used up. Uh, the platinum is not going to decrease in mass or be changed in anything else during the reaction. And we'll end up at the end of a reaction with platinum again. But it's going to facilitate the reaction at a much higher rate. As a matter of fact, some people would say that without the catalyst, reactions may not happen at all or would happen so slowly it would be impractical. This reaction involves a little bit of methyl alcohol, and it's going to be converted to formaldehyde. And we need a little bit of heat to get the catalyst going. And the reaction is going to happen at the surface of the platinum, and there'll be evidence of that. 
I'm going to heat the platinum wire up in a Bunsen burner just so it glows a little bit and set it inside the reaction chamber. The reaction is exothermic, so it's giving off heat. You can see evidence of that because the platinum wire is continuing to glow. The methanol is being consumed. We're making formaldehyde. The reaction is taking place on top of the uh, platinum surface, and the platinum glows to show us. I'm going to remove the platinum for just a moment, let it cool down, and put it right back in. And the reaction continues to occur. The platinum didn't cool off to the point where it wouldn't facilitate the reaction and keep going again. So an, a little example of what a catalyst is. That's, that's all there is to that one.